Good work from Aaron in that top lane if he wants to try and go for something a bit nutty because I think Aatrox not one that does well against him, but actually they're going to bring out the Gwen as well. So going to try and set up the for... Minion wave as Very. a kind of wall. But they're suspicious. Here we go. Monado, concussive blows, the Braum passive. Really the big thing that matters here. Hansama already marked up. Mickey trying to stop Alvaro from getting any further. Two, three, and four. This is a massively MDK paper trade thus far, but the client's now coming in. Super taking a decent amount of damage. Four shot. Evening things up a bit, but Hansama still taking damage. Finally able to reload. Mickey full committing here. No ignite to finish the kill. Hansama wants to four shot. Oh! There it is! One left in the chamber. Puts it to work. A beautiful now, turn our attention to top. Broken Blade level two. Tamir one's level three. Wave crashing El Yoya on the way in. Might just be about getting XP at this point. Can he turn this back? So much DC now going down. He's locked up briefly. El Yoya going to fall. Disaster on the top side. Broken Blade going to get up one or two creeps, but otherwise an even trade. But first, Skyway okay, might be looking to mid. Gets the knock up onto Caps. Shield is there, but it's just going to back away. Still oh, back to the roots and saying, hey, look, if we cut, cut off the shot caller, cut off the proverbial head of G2, maybe we can find our moments in game four. And Aatrox, not a champion who loses gracefully. Going to need a lot of times and a lot of items if he's put into deficit to really be that threat. So MDK, I think they found the weakness in the armor. They're going to push again, but Yike is here to cover it again. It will fail. This time, Broken Blade keeps his life, and MDK walk away empty-handed. The timing from Yike was flawless. The idea from we MDK saw the is pick potential of the Ash, and Super on this Ash is now going to have to show us the same. He's been moved up towards the top side. MDK set the sights on Broken Blade once more. Broken Blade. Almost level six. In trouble, but he's been here before. Level six now comes through. Extra healing. Nice sidestep on the initial piece of CC. Q3 buys a bit more time, but it's just not enough. MDK, well played. Third member, the difference maker there. Shoot this into bot side. See if they can find some pressure towards Hansam and Mickey. Otherwise, you look at the top left corner of your screen, a minute until those void grubs, a potential six grub buff, and actually it feels like G2 have found their stride again. They understand how they want to approach the game. This Corky has been massive for Caps, and Hansama continues to impress. A man yeah, I, say, I like this more than the RFC second, because it yeah. just gives you a slightly stronger spike. Yeah, Mosquito yeah. has hands now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> exactly, Dagda. <laughs> But again, we kind of turn our attention to the map. It's G2. They pushed away man in top. They have the pressure in bots. The TP flank bots. Knock on Hansama. Decent. Do they have the follow through? Concussive blows lands. That's big. Mirren on the backside. They're looking to collect a bounty quickly on the Jin. A bit of a revenge for the bot lane murder earlier on. Donated to Press Cowie. Massive shutdown for the One. A good pick. Ooh. It costs a lot, but it's worth the price. The Guardian keeps over a lot. G2 not in a position to fight back at all. Great use of the TP from MDK. Just. Uh, a creative way of finding... MDK, fun. though, because yes, you're going to end up taking this top side, but there's still moments where I want to see if they're able to control this play on mid, because even though you have Rift Herald, it's very easy for G2 to collapse on you incredibly quickly. They already burnt the TP from Irwin on towards this spot side play. You can't really look for any sort of play in the mid turret until you have that teleport back up, so MDK needs to play patient over the next few minutes. Just wait until they can try and fight G2 on an even footing. Broken Blade getting aggressive, knows that he has Mickey on the way in. All oh, the oh, over oh. from Frescow, he is clean. That's we'll walk away. Lost chapter there. See how he wants to approach this build. It was Death Cap second to Yike. Is uh, the Grubs remain really good at taking towers. No creep wave needed. A single one will do. And it's hilarious to see because G2 at the start of the year were a Void Grub team. They would so consistently look for this six Grub buff, but they kind of disappeared with this and decided it wasn't really worthwhile. We go for dragons instead, but now they're coming back. And Mirwin, does he hop over the wall? Oh, now Mirwin waiting, does a lot of damage. The Shroud, though, going to fade away. Moves out of it to reset the cooldown, at least for a brief moment. Gives himself a bit more time. And now Delio, he's been caught out. Curtains have been called. Down goes the boar. Alvaro going to try his best to body block. But just a single pick for G2. It was empty case in the waters. Pockets of vision here and there. For Scow, he continues to scale on the side lane. Caps doing something similar. Mirwin sees his chance. Invests the... Wait, maybe I missed Saw. No, oh, no, he does work. invest yeah, the ultimate. That's the ulti gone. And that's everything gone. Caps sees his window. Team fight power gone. Flash forward. Perfectly aimed. Mickey. Uh, yet another kill for G2. And just quick punishments. Probably not more. close at all. And so you just kind of have to concede the dragon. And that means the bit by bit more control. I say that. And BK is posturing. Need to fight, want to find an angle. Lock up there, Broken Blade immediately goes on to Super. Super really no room to play at all. Forced to use the arrow early. Knock it from Alvaro to keep his 80 carry standing. Frescali over the wall, four shot for Hansama. Gwen. Not gonna matter much, but the curtain is called. 
the angle, hitting the rocket to Paulo. Alvaro body blocks the poor shot, but it was the Corky he should have watched out for. I thought it was the sniper, but it's a heat-seeking missile that's coming in on the opposite side. Mickey. And Mirren was trying to flank. Do they find him? Oh. They walk past the bush that little Terrible bit. at taking uh, the Baron, the Brand, the Aatrox, the Corky will balance things out. So an objective that has to be respected. Caps seeing the angle, knowing the soul unbound, forcing Prescali to come back, but he has the Q3 to escape. That said, Caps completely unafraid, but the damage for Prescali is big. Needs to be perfect here. Dashes in, one more soul unbound. Dash through, Caps gonna be able to find him. Q3 hoping to find it, can snap back, but doesn't have the time. There's no tenacity for the Yone. He's easy pickings for that. This game is very quickly getting out of their hands. And we thought maybe this was a moment for MDK. They had looked so good, they took down G2. Maybe this rookies could do Next things. Slash, when locked up, this is big, the Gwen damage, their sole source of a lead. Now they're able to fire back, but the current call is finally here. Oh, and it's the miss phase, G2 strike back. Super trying to back step as best he can, but Broken Blade, despite the deficit, his team is there to carry the fight through a triple for your MVP. The rookies are being slaughtered. G2 have no respect for what could have been. They want to end this. They want to make it what should have been. Prescali trying to find the 1v1, should still be favored, but the root from Hansama! Oh! oh! It's rage inducing! It could have been his, but the Jin was there from 3,000 range to seal the deal. And now the Baron falls in favor of G. Is available for MDK, and G2 continue the slow roll, that slow movement in to the base of MDK. MDK. Celestial opposition burn from Alvaro. Using the resources they have to at least slow the push. They'll likely have to concede the tier two, but Mirwin looking for a different angle. They want caps. Caps. Their eyes on the prize. It'll likely cost them a tier two, maybe more, but caps trying to come through, trying to find the damage. Going in onto Mirwin. Thinks he can win the 1v1 in the meantime. Needlework coming in. A thousand gold to Mirwin for the top side. What else will they give? What else will they pay for the shutdown on the caps? The, bra the base falling apart, the tower breaking, but the inhibitor still stands. A desperate maneuver from the side of MDK, but it gets them a little bit back in return. I mean, that's the best type of play that MDK can look for right now. It secures the death count for Mirwin. Just buy time. Wait for that opportunity. You're kind of doing everything you can to find that miracle play. Super, though, what he's over there. The curtain's open. MDK overconfident. The arrow there. Prescali now trying to turn this one back, but it's too little. They've given up two. That jungle does not belong to them. They needed to slow for the dragon. They thought they could get the bounty, but G2 took off and they just immediately turned it around. And now they're scrambling. G2, they want to end this. G2 may have faltered. In the first series versus MDK, they may have been caught off guard. But in the final moments of this game four, they refuse to fall. Can Mad Lions Koi say the same? Mirwin finding the first kill, the fight kicking off. Everything comes down to this Gwen. Frescawi there as well. Flash out from Hansama, buys them a bit more time. They will stay standing. A dangerous. Replenished. MDK will find a window, though. They've secured a mid tower. Get a little bit more gold. Mirwin is really. Oh, could be all it takes. Super. Yeah, Alvaro, good read that recognizes how much danger his AD carry is in, but he's going to pay the price. Losing so much health manages to find the knockoff on two, but Mirwin's not in a position. He's not set up MDK. The range from G2 and Broken Blade, despite the early game, is here. Needlework now coming in. Yike going to be in trouble. Mirwin trying to bring this one back. The ulti good. He goes golden, but it's just enough time to watch his team die before his eyes. Frescawi, though, hot some out. Is it enough? Can the Yone do a Q3 now coming through? the three members on top of him. It is not. G2 in the LEC. Winter, spring, and summer. Through the lower bracket, they'd have no other way. The season final stands in front of them. G2 and Fnatic, as it was before, as it is again, it is inevitable. These G were the best highlights from today's LEC matchup. Click that subscribe button faster than Ramus can say, okay. See you on the next one.